Opening statements are underway in the murder trial of Derek Medina, dubbed the Facebook killer. The jury was sworn in last night. CBS 4's Natalia Zay is live outside the Metro Justice Building with more. Natalia? Well, the trial has just begun and already some dramatic events. The defense out of the gate called for a mistrial, saying that they were not given enough time to prepare for the state's surprise witness that it may call, a jailhouse snitch who may testify that Medina, Derek Medina, who is on trial, told him he intended to kill his wife ahead of time. Let's take you into the courtroom now. You can see Derek Medina there. He has been a lot more clean cut uh, in this appearance than he was previously. Now, first thing this morning, the judge read a four-page letter from that jail inmate who alleges Medina confessed to him that the murder of his wife, Jennifer Alfonso, was premeditated. The defense called for the mistrial, saying the surprise witness did not give him a chance to prepare or properly select a jury based on that brand new evidence. Well, the judge denied the mistrial. Less than an hour ago, the state gave its opening statement, spending much of its time laying out the sequence of events that ended in Medina shooting and killing Alfonso. She started punching him in the chest and the arm. And that's when he shot her. Not one time to get her off of him. Not twice to make her stop. Not three times to send her a message to really leave me alone because he means business. Not four times, not five times either. Nope. Ladies and gentlemen, the evidence will show that he emptied the clip. Eight shots at Jennifer. He had just killed his unarmed wife. And what did he do? He took a picture of her bent backwards from being on her knees, cowering in the corner of the kitchen while he was shooting her. And he posted it on Facebook. In an unusual move, the defense waived its right to an opening statement and instead will be able to make a statement to the jury after the state completes its case. Now, it appears the defense will argue Medina was a battered husband who snapped. The victim's mother also took the stand this morning with her voice trembling. I will bring you her testimony tonight starting at 5. I'll also let you know what prosecutors say happened to Alfonso's 10-year-old daughter who was in the home at the time of the shooting. We're live in Miami. Natalia Zaya, CBS 4 News.